Alright guys, first time on this new handy cam. Been using DSLRs and all that stuff, so just uh doing a quick API test in 3D Mark and uh looks like I need to install the professional version. Oh wait, that sh the professional one should be open. Uh, let's see, I can't see on the small LCD. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, let's see here. What to do, though, guys? It's your boy Jay Cuddy, Jason Cunningham, in the house, getting all the PCs done. And all the mods. I got all these outside of cases doing my pre tests as usual. There's my custom fan I made. Yes, I made that. Although it's a cooler master fan, the color and its see throughness are uh, of my doing. Like the many parts on this uh, brand new, yes, it is 2016, but it is a brand new uh, Gigabyte X79. UD3 I'm like in the light I just got this on top of the I'm just testing some cards in a crossfire if you can see through the Zygmatech fan I made a custom acrylic cover because uh, it is going to be an Intel and AMD based build um, with the lights off, these are white LEDs, so this was all pretty much clear. Um, so I spray painted the perimeter, um, spray painted the fan blades red, and so when you uh, when you have the white LED hitting off of it, it looks super sick at night. And then I did the whole this part just black I might do this green I don't know I don't know if that that would just kind of contrast with what I'm doing and then uh, the wiring you know I just spin my wires and then stretch them out spin stretch them out so that they don't kink and coil but it looks so much better like if you don't have any custom sleeving or paracord, all that good stuff, just do that and then uh, some coats of spray paint. And I, it's a pretty good uh, easy mod. These are uh, two MSI um, R9 270 Gaming Edition graphics cards. Uh, overclocked well past uh, the 270X's so more or less it's like Crossfire 270X's and then I got the Lepa Aqua Changer uh, 120 it's in push-pull with uh, two rose wheel static pressure uh, fans um, Again, this is just a Cooler Master 200 millimeter. It's going to fit in the side uh, panel window. And then I'm about ready to unbox my brand new. E I, I bought the last one from EVGA. It's the EVGA X79 Dark. The last one they created or made. Like literally six months before X99 came out. So, brand new in plastic ready to go 
And so, yeah, I just moved into this house. We are, uh, I'm still getting everything unboxed. And sorry about the way this is being handled. It's freaking on a tripod. And I don't have anywhere to walk, and it keeps banging my leg. Um, and I'm trying to keep it stable. So I gotta kind of loosen that. But yeah, this is a sick brand new 4 gigabyte ROG or ROG ASUS Republic of Gamers series card. It is the GTX 760 4 gigabyte. Yeah, 256 bit bus. It's just a. a, a it's a monster. I'm gonna put it that way. It'll uh, absolutely hang with, if not beat, with the overclocking profiles I got on it. You know, it has custom BIOS. I mean, you can ROG connect and fine tune it with other things. But it is a beastly graphics card. And then another thing that makes it even better, not just the LEDs and the cooling technology. Um, it does have awesome backplate. Again, this is the Asus uh, ROG Striker um, 760 uh, Striker 760 Platinum Edition. But you notice it can do three-way SLI and a four-gig frame buffer. We all know is pretty much the standard we want to be at right now if you're looking to do you know extreme ultra settings or presets on with this card I, I wouldn't push more than 1440p uh, you could do 2k or or quad HD or whatnot just some RAM set some fury my other uh, DSLR, some motherboards, and some other new components, some other new uh, new graphics cards. Got brand new R9 384 gig, and here's my 4K Beast, my R9 Fury. Triple dissipation, air cooled. You can just see the that kind of gives some uh, perspective on how big that box is and how gigantic that card is. Just about done with this. Just tested it. Just did the boot up test. This is the um, Azrock Fatality. 990FX killer with a thermal take Frio or Freeock, the overclock king, and that is the a brand new ASUS Z77 M Pro. It's a it'll do two-way SLI or Crossfire X. Um, these aren't finished or anything. I just Again, I got everything still in boxes. I'm unboxing everything and I'll get a panorama real quick so you guys can see. So, I mean, just everything is still in boxes. I can't wait to do the build vlog on this and unboxing of the LEPA um, Exclusion 240. It is not a closed loop cooler. This is an open loop cooler, meaning it's just no different than a, your own custom loop. Pretty cool. And with all the color combinations, these will go in a raid array with my X79 Dark. Um, my uh, ROG card will inevitably go into my uh, uh, ROG uh, it, Asus, sorry, I still got chemo brain guys, 
but it's the ASUS Crosshair 5 formula. It's a 990FX chipset with the 950 South Bridge just on my uh, Lian Li test bench, just snuggled back there. We got some Crossfire six, uh, 6970s with custom BIOS. And then just a bunch of other parts and whatnot shoved back there that goes all the way back there with all my content creation stuff. Because I'm about ready to put my desk and uh, my mic and everything together. So, yeah. Brand new, guys. No shit. I know how to buy things and find things for awesome prices. As long as it, it, it gets what my clients need and want. That's all I care about. <clears throat> That's all I care about. And so yeah, I'm doing a lot of modding today. Um, and um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I've been using a lot of this brass cleaner to clean off a lot of the copper on heat sinks and graphics card and that brings them right back to life as if they were brand new but I cannot wait to put this back into use this monster behemoth heat sink it's a it's actually a CPU VRM motherboard uh, you know basically the RAM everything it sits on on top of the cooler obviously with the direct uh, contact heat pipes um, eight millimeters you can see them going the whole width of the card this is uh, this would be 240 millimeters or 120 millimeter time two the fans are optional it was designed to be either passive um, or actively cooled but as you can see it's just the ingenuity with the old coolers that I still hold because I'm a collector still too that's why I still have a lot of my uh, near and dear to my heart uh, components still that are brand new essentially but this is the Cooler Master Gemin 2 and yes it just crushes it with cooling performance for an air cooler I mean that's like a damn radiator sitting on your CPU crazy uh, I just finally cut out the fan hole right there because I'm doing a custom uh, window in that thermal take uh, H35 30, oh man I can't even remember the name I'll, I'll do a more professional job I just wanted to try to capture that benchmark to see uh, how uh, the, the the Crossfire uh, 270X is, I'm gonna call it, um, but they are just two, uh, they're just 270s, overclocked pretty heavy. I think they're at um, what is it? Uh, I think I got the one at, or no, both of them at like 11:50 five or something on the core and then fifteen hundred something on on uh, the memory let's see and that's kind of what I'm doing right now is just stressing out the components because um, this x79 build with the Crossfire 270s has the just amazing freaking CPU I wish they still made like awesome deals like this where it, it, it's called the i7-3820 no different than your uh, i7-4820K 5820K um, it's 
you can't really call anything in the enthusiast class uh, cheap. I don't like to use that cheap. It is a budget or more budget oriented CPU. They don't, you know, the X79s, X99s, they don't waste money on having integrated uh, graphics. It's a waste of time, especially if you're going for that kind of tier or class uh, of performance. You're most likely going to be running multiple graphics, especially in a workstation slash gaming environment. And so, to me, uh, regardless of what people say, I want to utilize as much bandwidth as possible. And the 3820 comes with a 40 native PCI Express uh, 3.0 lanes instead of the typical um, Z series chipsets. Um, you know, Z77, Z87, 97, the, the new 170, etc., etc. Perfect example, Skylake. I think they maybe add a few more um, PCI Express lanes. I'm not sure if that's integrated into the CPU or on the chipset. Um, but generally, they're just 16 lanes. That's why you, when you see a uh, like Z series motherboards if they're not like the X series for the most part 95 or 98 percent are only going to be running on a two-way SLI or Crossfire running at 8x 8x the kicker to that is that's still awesome performance because that's the exact uh, equal to PCI Express 2.0 at 16x so you know that's so for example on my PCI Express 2.0 boards I always make sure that they are um, 32 you know at least uh, at least you know the, the like both slots run at x16 2.0 so that it can be no different than uh, newer gens at uh, running on PCI 3.0 at 8x so um, yeah I mean it, it's it's pretty complicated that that's not really the subject that I wanted to go into right now I just wanted to test the new camera and also just get some live performance benchmarks without having any background interference using fraps or raptor or any capturing programming I want to do this without any contaminations in the benchmarks so um, I don't have any background apps or resources being used um, that could uh, take any performance degradation away from what I am trying to accomplish and so um, can't really see on this unless I zoom in okay that's on profile one Oh, let's see if it'll change if I can change it from here, maybe. Let's see. See, I made it so even on silent mode, like if, the, like for a client they wanted to buy it, it'll still give them a good jump in performance. When uh, that's supposed to be like 900 or something megahertz, so that's silent. If you want to go to gaming mode, um, not much. It's just a quick jump to, uh, you know, a gig and a half. Um, 
on the GPU clock overclock mode is uh, 1076 so that's what I know I can get stable um, that's what I've been testing on everything as you can see let's check out the uh, A6 score Where's it at? Oh, there it is. Cards ASIC quality is higher than 94.5% of similar GPUs in our validation database. And you can pause the screen or whatever if you got to. That's good, guys. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm a big overclocker and uh, I love running a multiple graphics card um, not for, not simply just for um, for real estate looks for the glam effect but for uh, actual performance and I hate using the term future proofing but it is a lot more future proof than it would versus a single card and considering that I got both of them for 150 bucks brand new it's pretty kinda hard to beat that kind of performance at that value you know so I don't want to be having any assholes out there trying to fucking say what are you talking about no there's no two uh, two uh, R9 270s, they can't beat this and that. I didn't say that, I said at the price that I paid for them, there is not a card out there that will beat them at 150 bucks. Think about that. that well, that's what a GTX 950, that, this will stomp a mud hole in that. Um, I mean, fuck, I can run ultra presets on, I mean, we're talking uber uber maxed out on Battlefield 4 and I just have it simply locked at 60 FPS um, using uh, I just locked it in with uh, the ca the control panel and so um, if I did not lock it in we're talking 100 plus uh, at 1080p uh, on a 144 hertz monitor, so uh, uh, I guess a more recent game would be Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront. Um, what is it? It's like a hundred. I'm basically almost at the refresh rate of the monitor, so uh, always over a hundred FPS, no matter what. It's awesome performance at 1080. I've done some uh, 1440. It does awesome at that. Anything higher, the VRAM becomes the the bottleneck. Again, I hate that term. Let's see here. Now this is running off of a portable drive, so I've been having problems with Cinebench. I should just install it onto the... And this is running on a, um, a hybrid drive, solid, solid state slash hard drive combo, so it has 8 gigs and NAND flash on, on a 500 gigabyte um, hard drive. It's a Seagate Momentus XT. Uh, 2.5 inch form factor um, so the same size as an SSD but with the same specs as a 3.5 inch drive so 7200 RPM uh, 64 megabytes cache um, all that good stuff no different 
than your motherfucking Western dudes with the blues, blacks. But in a 2.5 form factor, so that's pretty rocking. But it is coupled with a Western Digital Blue 1 terabyte, um, 3.5 inch. Um, however, I've I've already ordered a few more because I I found um, the Momentus XT 500 gigs going for freaking 38 bucks, guys, on eBay. Brand new, go get them. Crazy performance. If you're trying to save money but get SSD like uh, performance, I mean, this thing boots up. What is like 23 seconds is what I timed it. Let's do an open GL test. See what uh, uh, the Cinebench um, R11.5, um, the 64-bit version. And I'm just going to hit run. I don't need to do anything else. I don't feel like it. And I got the 3820. What I was going to say is it's actually...